Illinois, Cargo Bike Life here. I uh, wanted to talk today about having a bicycle and it not being like an actual cargo bike. Before I was lucky enough to have the Surly Big Dummy, I had a Schwinn CrossFit that I bought off Craigslist. And I added a rear rack, I added a front rack with a huge milk crate on it. And then I made some my own panniers for the back. And that's what I'm gonna show you today is how I made my panniers because the ones I made were really big. You get a lot of stuff in them. And the rack I chose for the back was a toe peak, which I'll show you in a minute. What I used to make mine were this piece of white melamine. It's a cutting board is what it is. You can see it has a little groove in it for juice and stuff. But got this at my local home and improvement store. I think it was like 10 bucks. And I bought various pieces and parts, nuts, bolts, washers, two hooks. These hooks are just general utility hooks. And I bent them and shaped the center of them with files and drills and various cutting tools to fit over the rails on my rack. This piece right here, the little round washer that's bolted on there, hope you can see that that goes in the little V on the rack I'll show you when I put it on to hold it stable so it doesn't kick out or when you hit bumps it, it won't shoot out to the side so they're constantly moving and slamming against your bike this just holds it all kind of in a static place as well as this bungee cord and I'll show you what that's for but uh, let me put it on the on the rack here the uh, the toe peak rack is now on my girlfriend's bike. She has one bag that we found at a Goodwill, really nice bag that matches uh, her front bag. But the way that this cutting board fits on there is like this. You see the little round washer in there, how it's going between the V? You slide it down and you gotta get it in the V and then the hooks sit right on there and what that does you see that washers pinching this so it, it can't it can't move but just a tiny bit it keeps it from going back and forth this way but also from sliding back and forth like this so that's the that's the backer and then you have the the bungee which I'll show you how that works in a minute now the way that the bag goes on here is like this. This is a medium Alice pack. It's a military backpack. They're getting harder to find, but you can still find them. But this is a medium. They also make like a large, which was way too big for what I was doing. But this is a medium. And this just, in the back of this, it has a slot for the Alice pack frame. The Alice pack frame slides up in there and it bottoms out right here. And it, that's how the Alice pack attaches, the frame attached to the Alice pack. And then it has these that you attach to the bottom. It's, it's very simple. So the reason I chose this cutting board is because the width is the exact width of this. So what I do is I pull the bungee cord up through there and then I just simply slide the Alice pack down over the top of the cutting board. Then this bungee cord, what I do with it is I would put it in the back and I would put it over the, I would put it over the rear rack and fit the, the bungee cords down through here it's a little tricky with one hand it's easier when you have two but I don't have anyone to help me film today and then I would just stretch these down there and hook them in place because I hope you can see that at the bottom that's what that's made for. Those two little spaces are made to hook your saddlebag in. And then the bungee cord stretches up 
and what that does is it keeps this from being able to bounce out there if you hit a, a big bump i never had any problems i just kept my bungee cord on there just just to keep that there and to keep this from to keep the whole thing from bouncing up and off if you hit a big bump because if you hit a big bump it could bounce up and off but with this bungee cord pulling down on it it won't do that so this makes a really good saddlebag it has a lot of room in it and what i did was the straps that come on an alice pack are just looped through this bottom piece well i got some quick release buckles they're not all the same but they all work the same and i cut my i cut my uh straps melted the melted the ends folded them over put a little tape on there so that you can have easy access and this has a cinch strap at the top it has three little bags on the front of it right here one there's another one and there's another one then when you look inside i think what they call this is a radio pouch there's like a little pouch right there and then you have the bag itself which i have a piece of white coroplast in the bottom just to give it a square base so then you load it up and you just pull this and you can cinch that up for your load to keep it in there and this also has another feature in the top i think they call this the map case so you just open that up it has a piece of velcro right there and you can stick stuff in there too i got some napkins in there but then it just folds up and then you know you just use your quick release buckles to secure it you got plenty of room if your load's bigger you can you know pull it down before you cinch it or after you cinch it but they make really good saddlebags and it's super simple to make i think i paid 20 for this bag and i paid i think 10 for this and then i might have spent another five dollars on bungee cords and nuts and bolts so you know let's say 35 40 bucks and you can have a really good uh alice pack or not alice pack pannier it's an alice pack but this is made of nylon and it repels water it's not waterproof but it does repel water and if it does get full of water in the bottom of the alice pack like in the you can see here in the little individual pouches there's a a rivet but it's got a hole in the center for drainage and the bottom of the alice pack right there you can see them there's two more right there in the back but it's a super simple way to make some uh, panniers for your bike and they're they're really strong and they're just all around just good stuff i mean it's, it's military quality stuff and you know the military they spend all the money to make all the best stuff i love alice packs i think they're great I don't use them now because I have my big dummy bags, which I really love because they're just so versatile. But that's just a way that you can make some some panniers for your bike because any bike could carry cargo. You just have to get a little creative. If you got any questions about what I showed you today, um, just let me know. The other thing I will add is when you make something like that, I didn't put my hooks all the way at the top of this because I didn't want this hanging down past my quick release or past my uh, derailleur. I didn't want it hanging over that. So I kept them up where I could still get to my quick release and I could still, I didn't want it bumping and pushing on my derailleur, making it change gears on me and stuff. I wanted no contact with the derailleur or the cable. And you can see they come right to the bottom of the rack so it all worked out really really well so like i said if you got any questions uh just shoot me a comment and i'll do my best to answer them have a good day ride safe cargo bike life out